I set that axe up for you. Here's your chance. Scare me out of here. Is it? I'm not running this time. What is that? Oh my god! I am not running this time. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. That almost looks like blood. Oh my god. Who are you? Reverend Kelly? I am currently alone in the most haunted house in the United States. A house where eight people were slaughtered. And a house I've got a bad feeling I might regret coming to. This is where I'm staying the night. And uh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling a little scared about what can happen here. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care what happens. I'm not going to run. I'm going to investigate and try to capture evidence of the paranormal. If you enjoy watching me investigate places like the Velisca Axe Murder House completely alone, it's kind of my thing. I kind of go to haunted places alone. I try to challenge myself to do it. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, if you like this video, like it and comment your thoughts on anything that goes down tonight. I, I've got a feeling something's bound to happen. I've already heard some strange noises just from filming some b-roll earlier. All right, here goes nothing. In the night of June 9th, 1912, the Moore family of six and their two house guests were killed in their sleep by an axe murderer. It is said that the assailant hid in the attic until everyone was asleep before going room to room bludgeoning each victim one by one. Their bodies were discovered the following morning with severe head wounds and the axe left behind in the guest room. A lengthy investigation yielded several suspects, one of whom was tried twice. However, a conviction would never be made, leaving this crime unsolved to this day. It is said that the spirits of the Moore family and Stillinger sisters can still be heard crying out in the night. Balls and other objects have been seen moving by themselves. Cold spots, banging sounds, footsteps, and doors opening and slamming are common occurrences. Blood has even been heard dripping on the floors and sighted oozing from the walls. The darkest activity includes being scratched, pushed, and even attacked by what many believe to be the ghost of the killer. Hello? Is anyone in here? Thank you for letting me in your home. I've got a green light in my hand. Could you move by it? Anyone? Sarah? You cooking anything? Josiah? Sarah? Who murdered you? Say his name for the world to know. This person doesn't deserve to get away with this. What they did was horrible. And I am so sorry what happened to all of you. I think I might have just heard something. Did you just say something? A disembodied whisper of what sounds like a man was just picked up on my audio recorder, 
Could this be the spirit of the father, Josiah? Alright, I'm going to try to communicate with the Stillinger sisters. I've got some dowsing rods. Let's see if they'll play with these. Although I unintentionally held my dowsing rods away from the camera's view, I did receive some compelling responses. Lena, Ina, are you in here? You don't have to be shy. Well, I feel like a cold right here. Right where my hand is. Could you point the rod to where you are? Wow. Okay, I can feel you. I feel your cold presence. I don't mean that in any way. That's just how you feel. Is this Lena? If so, could you cross the rods? Is this Ina? Whoa. Wow. I see you've got a lot of toys. Could you make a toy move? Maybe not that doll. Don't move that doll. That thing freaks me out. If you don't want to do that, you could tap on something. Yeah, like that. Oh. Okay. I got a feeling I'm really communicating with you now. I'm so sorry what happened. I imagine that was scary. Are you in a better place now? They're not moving. Are you in... Are you trapped here? If so, cross the rods. Are you still there? I don't like that she stopped after I asked if she was in a better place. It's like she just didn't want to answer. That makes me feel really sad. Two little girls, and they don't even live here. They just so happen to stay the night. Of all the nights to stay the night, it had to be that one. I'm going to make my way down to the cellar. Is there anybody down in this cellar? Hey, axe murderer. 
Are you down here? This seems like a place fitting for you. in the floorboard. What? Oh my god. That sounded like children. That literally sounded like children. This voice emanated through the floor and sounded rather childlike. There were no children in the house whatsoever. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god! Oh, shit, shit, shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Holy fuck. Oh my god. That freaking ball. Dude, it just freaking. It rolled down the stairs. How the fuck would that have happened? Oh my god, that freaked me out so bad. Holy shit. Oh my god, that ball, it just freaking flew down those stairs, like, like how the hell does that happen? I gotta go back in there, I gotta go back in there. This ball was more than likely in the children's bedroom upstairs. Someone would have had to roll the ball from the room, down the hall, through the master bedroom, and down the stairs. What is that? What is that? <gasps> this evidence is very compelling. However, this was far from the last of my paranormal experiences. Okay, okay. One step at a time. It's just a ball. I'm oh, getting so freaked out. Holy shit! How can that happen? Hello? Did somebody just throw this ball? Could you move it again? Oh my god, do I dare look up there? Herman? Catherine? Paul or Boyd? Did one of you roll this ball? This ball right here. This ball just rolled down the stairs. And I have a feeling it was one of you that did that. It's okay if you did. I mean, I actually encourage it, really. 
it kind of freaked me out, but I'm not scared anymore. All right, I'm gonna roll this ball back to you, okay? And when I do, I want you to roll it back to me. Move the ball. Okay, I'm coming in. If you don't mind me visiting. Can someone make a noise? What? Oh! Holy oh, fuck! No, no, no. I'm not running this time. I'm not. I am not running this time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to scare you guys. God dang. Look. That door's open. Look. Oh my god. Herman, did you open this? Or someone? Could you open it a little more? Hey buddy, are you in here? Mind if I take a peek? I actually felt the breeze at the closet door opening behind me. However, I unfortunately did not capture this phenomena on camera. Alright, little buddy. I don't know who you are. I don't know which one you are. But, um, I'm gonna come in here and sit with you. Would you like to shut the door? No? I'll do it for you. I'm sorry for freaking out earlier. I didn't mean to get scared. I didn't mean to yell or whatever I did. How many of you are in here right now? Who's in here? <gasps> okay. Herman? <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Herman? Is this where you like to hang out? You can easily hear this childlike whisper say, I strongly believe that I was in the company of Herman Moore, who was the eldest child of the family. Are you still in here? Herman, I've got a green light in my hand. It's like a toy. If you wave your hand by this green light, other lights will glow. It's pretty cool. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god! The door just opened! And it was blinking! The EMF was blinking! Holy shit! That was so freaking cool! Thank you so much, Herman. Wow, that just blew my mind. 
Now, I know what a lot of people are going to say. They're going to say, oh, it's just the wind. No, that is not the wind. There is no wind in here at all. This door has been shut all day. And not once has it moved until now. And I was up here earlier in the day, walking around just like I was earlier. And nothing. But suddenly now, it's opening. Twice. Twice it did it. And this time I caught it. The closet door not only moves, but my K2 meter picks up on a spike of energy without explanation. My other infrared camcorder also captures this phenomena. Honestly, the scariest thing about this room to me is that. That is an axe mark. That was from the killer swinging the axe onto here. Onto, uh, well, unfortunately, these uh, unfortunate souls. Sure. Oh my god. It's back to normal. What the freak? Look at those pictures again. What the hell? They're all dark and there's like this. This, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like this... That almost looks like blood. Oh my god! What the hell is with these photos? You can clearly see that the flash of my digital camera was working properly. Yet these two photos took on a dark reddish hue with no explanation. When the first photo was brightened, you can see there is nothing otherwise unusual about it. However, in the second photo, two dark masses can clearly be seen covering the pillows, headboard, and blanket of the master bed. What is truly shocking is that they almost appear to be bloodstains, and are positioned exactly where Josiah and Sarah Moore would have been sleeping during the murders. Oh my god, that is so fucking disturbing. Oh god, it's flashing in my head. Oh fuck, I keep picturing it in my head. I don't want to picture that. Oh my god. I feel like I gotta get the fuck out of here. My night was far from over. The events about to take place are some of the most terrifying that I have ever witnessed. You know, for how much activity has been going on tonight, the one person I have not heard a peep from is the killer. Why is that? I think I know where you're hiding. I see that the mirrors are covered, and for whatever reason, that is because 
That is what you did. You covered the mirrors up. Well, maybe we'll let you take a look at yourself. See the, uh, the, the monster you really are. There. How do you like that? Oh God, imagine something like appeared behind me. That would be worse than Bloody Mary. Well, you gonna do something? I just uncovered your mirror. What you gonna do? Okay, just as I thought. I came from in there. That's like a low thump sound. Do something else. Come on, I know you can do better than that. <laughs> okay, okay. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Every part of my body is telling me not to go in there. But I have to. you a present. I think you're pretty familiar with what this is. Is this not what you used? I know you're up here. I can feel you. I can feel your presence up here. Do something. Do that again. Is that all you're gonna do? killed an entire family with this and the fact that you are here and you're not burning in hell at the moment is a I'm literally holding an axe to a ghost what the fuck am I doing Make another sound. Do it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Dude, I just rattled my chair. Fuck. Fuck. I 
I set that axe up for you. Here's your chance. If you don't like me, then why don't you scare me out of here? You've gone quiet up here. I know you're here. Who are you? Reverend Kelly? That's what a lot of people think. A lot of people think you're Reverend Kelly. I feel really strange up here. My head is tingling. And like... I just don't feel any fear. It's weird. Like I feel like I like I was just creeped out just not even a few moments ago. And now it's like starting to go away. I've got a bad feeling something's not right in here. Holy shit! Although I fled the scene, I ran with this captured on my SD card. An unseen force takes hold of the axe and thrusts it to the floor violently. This experience sent shockwaves of panic through my whole body, as if I were being pursued by a madman. I refuse to investigate any further. Although I am ashamed of my reaction, a disturbing question crosses my mind. What would have happened if I would have stayed? Would I have been possessed? Would I have been attacked? Was coming here alone going too far? Some of these questions I would rather leave unanswered. <laughs>